Well, tonight in the World Football League, the Jacksonville Sharks will try to break a three-game losing streak as they face Hawaii. Well, meanwhile, the Chicago Fire, unbeaten in four games, was looking to make it five in a row last night, taking on the Florida Blazers. Rod Foster, watch him bust it right up the middle. He gets an alleyway, some good blocking, some bad tackling, 86-yard touchdown, and Florida gets out ahead of the Chicago Fire right away. But the Chicago Fire is a spunky contingent, and back they came behind Virgil Carter. Watch the delay here to Mark Keller, their fullback. Keller, behind good blocking, gets down to the three-yard line before he's finally brought down. Keller, who scored five times against Hawaii, gets into the end zone, and the Fire trails by a point. Back came Florida, quarterback Bob Davis, formerly of the Jets, to Matt Maslowski, formerly of the Chicago Bears. This set up a second Florida touchdown as Maslowski has finally run out of bounds on the three-yard line. But Virgil Carter rallied the fire again, hitting Jack Dolben coming up here. Some bad defensive secondary work, a missed tackle by number 45 of the Blazers. Dolben turns it on, he goes 54 yards for a touchdown, 16-14 Florida leads. Well, finally, Tennessee opens football practice August the 19th, and for the first time since head coach Bill Battle became the Vols coach in 1970, Tennessee isn't rated a strong contender to win the Southeastern Conference football title. As a matter of fact, most experts are picking Tennessee to finish somewhere right about in the middle, about number five. They could do a lot better, and we'll see as the season goes along, of course. Experts always seem to... Uh, kind of be wrong sometimes, Harry. That's the story in sports on this evening. That's you know, I was just noticing on the wire just before we came up that Hank Aaron, with all of the accomplishments that he's done in his lifetime, he's going to be added another honor. And for the Tournament of Roses uh, in Pasadena, mm -hmm. the Rose Bowl Parade, he's going to be the Grand Marshal. I think a fitting tribute. That's quite a honor for Hank, and he's had the only baseball know, player ever to. Well, he's had a lot of honors come to him this year, and, and I think the amazing thing about Hank Aaron is the way he's handled himself through all of this. I mean, he's been very accommodating to reporters. He's uh, been except uh, for one night in Atlanta. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was the night of the of the strawberries in the face. That's Frank right. Highland, as well, you Frank, know, you Frank know Highland, well, yeah. right? Uh, Maybe he deserved it. I, you know? Yeah, I think uh, Hank kind of lost his cool a little yeah. bit there, and he's had so much pressure right. placed upon him. You know, maybe it was needed. Right. The president's speech at 8 o'clock tonight. Rick Little tonight at 10 o'clock with a report from Chris Clark in Washington, D.C. For Hope Hines, Ruth Ann Leach, and Ron Kaiser, I'm Harry Chapman. That's our time for now. We thank you for yours. Flying service provided Channel 5 News by Air Travel Charter. Contact them for charter flight.